Yeah, this is our STEM lab with 80 tools here. Starting with this inertia of motion, where mm. so all these coins are stacked up. What we need to do, we need to pull this trolley back and leave it. So the coins are in rest. While they are in motion, when it comes to the rest, they will fall down. And this is energy of rest. Glass, coin, scale and the foam sheet along with the powder. So this is the whole set. Um, when we fastly remove this paper, so the coin falls down because it is in rest, it won't come into motion. Uh, so when we hit the coins, so the bottom coin will move away, but the top coins will stay at their own position because of the rest. Uh, this will be explain in another time the way the powder will be on it just like the cloth and dust model this one this is angle of reflection of light so we can see the incident angle and reflection angle here we have coupled pendulum where if we move one or set one pendulum into motion sometime the another pendulum will also come into the motion we have manometer with uh, pressure so we can see the pressure difference of an external substance like uh, air pressure inside the balloon. This is simple pendulum. Just a simple motion. And we have floating magnets. Actually, these are like magnets. Now we need to reverse this. So this will float. The magnets will float. And we have double pulley system here where the effort of lifting the load will be reduced because of this pulley system. We have single pulley here, single pulley, double pulley and like we have three pulleys, four pulley system and uh, these are hanging magnets. So when we leave, they will hang and they attract the like poles, ripples and unlike pole attracts, that's a concept. And we have this big one. The total track, this is K to P, means kinetic energy to potential energy. When we press this piston, it will hit the marble and it will go. So when this is in motion, the marble possesses the kinetic energy and at a point it will halt, that point is P and it will come back again. So that is potential energy converting, converting into kinetic and kinetic energy converting into potential. And magnetic lines of force, where we need to place this magnet beneath the board and uh, spread all these iron fillings over the board so we can see the lines we have multiple images formation so you can see the number of images formed when two mirrors are placed at uh, different angles so now I placed at uh, 40 40 degrees like this so you can see uh, two images So we can see multiple images inside the reflections and all. And we have electrical components here, which includes the motor, buzzer, battery, switch, connectors, LEDs, wires and all. And the atomic model set where we can understand the combination of uh, bonds or the bonds formation using different atoms like single bond, double bond formation, oxygen bonds, hydrogen bonds. And we have ACDC model. When we turn this, so we get the electricity here in AC form or DC form. It's a dynamo model hand working and we have tuning forks. So maybe I don't know whether it is audible in the video or not. So different different uh, forks have different tuning frequencies. That's how it works. And uh, we have litmus test box where by using litmus red and litmus blue we can check the acidity and basicity of uh, different materials like calcium hydroxide, hydrochloric acid, these are samples and uh, citric acid. 
सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट एंड हस्टिक एसिड विद दिस एक्चुअली वी कैन चेक डिफरेंट एसिड्स एंड बेसिस विच आर अवेलेबल इन आवर होम एंड डेली लाइफ थिंग्स ऑल्सो वी हैव वॉच ग्लासेस हियर वेर वी कैन टेक सैम्पल्स बाई यूजिंग ड्रॉपर्स और बाई यूजिंग स्पैचला दैट्स ऑफ इट एज दी एसिड्स एंड बेस एंड वी पेज दिस इन द लिटमस चार्ट विच आई शो इन अ वाई so when we do the test of litmus uh, the strips the blue strips will be uh, glued over here so we take the sample like hcl and nature is acidic ph we can read from this table ph value uh, yeah you can see here and uh, paste the litmus strip here so that's how we get a number of litmus strips and this is a litmus test chart yeah that's it and then uh, this is solution suspension colloids so salt solution and powder or floor the suspension and this is a colloidal solution with led we can see the tindal effect we have magnets and compost with different shapes like horseshoe magnet bar magnet ring magnet disc magnet cylindrical magnet and compost so all these sets comes in a single pack and we have reflection of sound set where we can make some sound from here and we listen this we measure the angle also so this is reflection of sound and we have thermometer two thermometers lab thermometers are provided in a single set then we have pressure gauge to measure the pressure so the pressure can be seen on this newton scale uh, sorry this newton scale is a force and we calculate the diameter area of uh, this piston and we find the pressure p equal to Pressure is called a force per area. Force per area formula by using the formula, and we have this electrolysis set, where a battery is provided with a switch, and uh, there are electrodes inside. These two electrodes inserted in the test tube. So when we fill the water and start this uh, switch, we can see the hydrogen and oxygen collected in these two, two tubes, and this is wind energy. This is a dynamo model, where an LED is connected to this. a uh, motor and when wind blows this turns this rotates and electricity will be generated which we can uh, observe from this led wind energy and then load and fulcrum set there are three different type of uh, things like place load here class 1 lever class 2 lever class 3 lever we have solar energy here so when we press you can see because of this uh, panel now the light is falling on this so say led and we can see buzzer is making some noise and uh, battery is getting charged by using the solar panel and the motor shaft is rotating here if you can see so this is how solar energy converting into light energy the sound energy mechanical energy storing into the battery and we have optical components where we have concave convex mirrors uh, led v stand and everything inside this box these are concave convex mirrors and lenses four sets are there we have optics kit where we have plane mirror and prism of 38 by 38 uh, mm and magnifying glass led and all these things uh, this is a newton color disc where when we rotate like this so you can see all colors are becoming as a single color so just like shave operate it So now we can see that all colors are uh, vanishing and becoming a single color like that is white. Okay, and then we have kaleidoscope where we can see uh, different different uh, images inside. It's very hard to show in camera. Uh, yes. So these are the patterns. So let me show. This is an empty kaleidoscope pattern, and then now I will show with the uh, beads inside the kaleidoscope. and uh, yes now there are beads inside this kaleidoscope so we can see infinite oh, very hard to shoot infinite images uh, different different patterns are forming so this is how kaleidoscope works okay. 
and then we have a day and night model a glow so when we press the switch light will fall and showing that how day and night where the light is lighting that is day model and uh, where the light is not falling that is night model night side okay. and then uh, this is day and night model and we have periscope yeah with periscope we can see uh, the things at uh, different angle now yeah. yes uh, actually there is no globe here but now we can see the globe because globe is at the bottom and uh, this is how the periscope works then we have germination of seeds so there are uh, six different type of seeds inside this and we see how the germination happens and all this is a uh, metal reaction where uh, we do by using hydrochloric acid the reaction of metals that's six different type of metals inside uh, by using so how they reacts with the acid we have fraction tiles one by four one full circle half one by three etc then we have oh, sorry this is fraction disc and we have uh, fraction tiles one by eight one by seven and this is one by four we have a plus b whole square uh, a plus b plus c whole square so a square plus b square plus c square plus uh, plus two two a b this two a b two c a and two b c and we have practical verification of uh, a minus b whole square this is a minus b whole square and we have um, another one a square minus b square we have a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square a plus b whole cube and then we have practical verification of a plus b whole square this is one a minus b whole square and uh, human respiratory human digestive system animal cell human circulatory system we have kidney eye plant cell human liver human ear heart knee joint human teeth shoulder joint this is a brain model and above all we have a skeleton here yeah right now it's good we have a human skeleton these are all biology models and we have spring balance okay so when we hang the weights you can see the balance weight this is spring balance this is density tower not yet completed while training you see like we have different density liquids like spirit oil water glycerin etc and uh, romans number set one two three all normal roman numericals this is geo board one year calipers area of a circle so we find the area of a circle practically by converting into rectangle the square angles and property of tri quadrilateral triangle parallelogram its properties rhombus and trapezium angle inscribed in a circle hexagon angle di different type of triangles rectangle Uh, area of an arc and uh, this is sector and cone relation the student need to cut and form a cone that's how the sector and cone relation yeah, yeah, yeah. insulators and conductors so turn on so this is a conductor now we can see that light is blinking but when we go to wood so i connected to good wood but it is not blinking so this is how it works insulator and conductors and this is touch sensor so when i touch giving some sound so this is touch sensor and uh, this magnetic induction yeah. so when i press this switch magnet uh, electromagnet is forming and it is attracting iron piece so magnetic induction and then finally the electric board so we can see that this is mains and uh, this is also indicator electric bulb fuse plug and everything inside this that's all this is a whole um the lab setup
which we have 